With 2022 coming to an end, it's a good time to reconnect with people we care about. And what better reconnection to make at the end of the year than Richard Rawlings and the Gas Monkey crew? We're looking at where the cast of Fast and Loud is today. Let's count down to the new year with a roundup of where our favorite Gas Monkeys are in 2022. If you've been following this channel for a while, you're probably familiar with Fast and Loud. Get Get you some of that! It's black and they made 83! But if you're new, here's a brief rundown. Fast and Loud is about Richard Rawlings and his crew turning junk cars into automotive works of art. A typical episode has them finding a car, then modifying it according to a client's wishes in a week. And while the modifications aren't as radical as Pimp My Ride, these cars still look badass. The show started in 2012 and ended in 2020 with 16 seasons. There have been no rumors of the show getting a reboot. Fast and Loud was confirmed as cancelled multiple times, no blaming COVID here, even if it probably informed the decision a little. Rowling said he wanted to quit television. Any rumors you heard are incorrect because there is no Fast and Loud without Rawlings. So what now? What's the Barrel of Monkeys up to in 2022? Are there any of them still on TV? Let's see what happened to them after they left the show. Everybody hold on to your hat out there. Fast and Loud is no more. <gasps> uh, I have exited Discovery and uh, I'm a free agent. As with anything related to Fast and Loud, we must start with Richard Rawlings. We got into what happened with him after Fast and Loud a while back. Watch that video for more details. The short version is that Fast and Loud fell apart piece by piece. Many cast members left the show over time and we'll get to most of them. Reasons included pressure on the set and Rawlings not being the easiest guy to work with. But think of them as parts of an iceberg falling off instead of just the tip. More importantly, Rawlings himself said he was quitting television. The biggest reasons are Rawlings thinking he had peaked and wanting to do something different. Discovery didn't like that so any future deals with the network are off. Rawlings remains a major supporter and fan of motorsports but there will not be any more episodes of Fast and Loud. But if you want to see more Rawlings, Gas Monkey Garage's YouTube channel is alive and kicking. He posts cars and trucks he has worked on, events at the garage, and anything else he sees fit to put up there. Sometimes he even does crossovers with other car fanatics. His channel is updated regularly, so if you want more Uncle Richard, subscribe. We would appreciate you subscribing here too. You can also buy stuff from his site. If there's a gearhead in your life, yes, including you, Gas Monkey Shop has everything from t-shirts to bundles of special cleaners for your car. And even though we're not sponsored, if anyone needs to shop for a fan, why not support the garage? You may also have heard about Rawlings getting into NFTs. So far, Rawlings has not made any NFTs. He did, however, discuss NFTs in a video with Mark Cuban. And so you know, just making it, making an NFT all digital, making it a collectible, making it unique to you, making something that will resonate with your fans. That's what you sell. I think I like that idea. We've been studying on it and uh, I, I like your idea there where you leave the message. Part of the reason he wanted to do NFTs was to make them redeemable for actual cars. He would take a picture of a car, sell it as an NFT, then let people trade them for the corresponding car. As Cuban said, that is not the right way to use NFTs. Rawlings is a skeptical, savvy businessman. He might still get into NFTs, but was smart enough to consult someone with more experience about that idea before going ahead with it. The video implied a, hey fellow kids, situation. Also, the video about NFTs was before Rawlings hosted a massive auction of his collection. It could easily be that he decided to host the auction instead of NFTs but there's no way to be sure. So, the current state of Richard Rawlings boils down to garage yes, restaurants no, TV no, YouTube yes, NFTs, maybe. It's difficult to see what Rawlings might do with NFTs in the future, but maybe we should move on and talk about some of the other cast members. To quote Stevie Nicks, I think I have to go my own way. My vacation from Gas Monkey is going to be a permanent one. Aaron Kaufman has taken the same route as many monkeys and started his own garage. He also got his own show, Shifting Gears with Aaron Kaufman. This show did not last long. 
it was supposed to last three seasons and only got one. Lukewarm reception probably contributed to its cancellation. But the Garage Aaron made arc light fabrication is still up and running. You can follow Kaufman's work on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. It be the moment society degrades back to animals. Animals! Animals, I say! We've already done a video on Tom Smith, the funniest gas monkey. But here's a quick recap. In 2014, both Tom Smith and Jordan Butler were fired from Gas Monkey Garage. They made a new show, Misfit Garage, which aired from 2014 to 2016. Rawlings was suspiciously involved. Smith still does comedy at clubs around Dallas. If you enjoyed his wild sense of humor, you can follow him at Tom Smith the Car Guy on Facebook to stay in touch. And we may as well talk about Jordan Butler briefly too. Butler and Smith were fired from Fast and Loud at the same time. They hosted Misfit Garage together. Scott McMillan had known Aaron Kaufman since high school. When he was on screen, he was the master of the art of the deal, but also had plenty of automotive experience. McMillan got on Fast and Loud in Misfit Garage thanks to his connection with Kaufman and experience handling hot rods. Unlike Kaufman, however, McMillan left Rawlings for Misfit Garage. He currently works at Scott Rod's Garage in Fort Worth, Texas. We've talked a lot about the stars, but there's an amazing story behind the scenes. Christy Brimberry was the office manager for Gas Monkey Garage while Fast and Loud was airing. She did everything from ordering car parts to make sure everybody got paid, not to mention dealing with Tom Smith and getting too many raunchy questions from fans. Also, her husband did Rawlings' signature hair, which is what landed her the job in the first place. Brimberry was tough herself. Some fans might remember her barbed wire tattoos and modest car collection, even though she barely got any screen time. But far fewer fans know that Brimberry had cancer. In October 2016, Christy Brimberry had an operation to remove a cancerous lymph node from her thyroid gland. The surgery left her unable to speak for around six months. She also needed a tube in her throat and further treatment with radiation to make sure her cancer was gone. She was officially cancer-free in 2017. Left your shorts on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Richard and Aaron at anyway? I don't know, but hopefully they're not coming back soon because we're all fired. <laughs> Fast and Loud didn't end until 2020. Don't underestimate the people behind the scenes. They're stronger than you think. And Brimberry still posts on social media regularly. But please don't send her any sketchy questions, unless they involve taxes. That's adult stuff she might be able to offer advice on. Some hardcore fans may still remember Jason Aker, who was a highly skilled monkey on the show. He didn't have much screen time, but you'd usually see him in the background working on one of Rawlings' builds. Well, sometime during the show, he got an offer to work with Barrett Jackson on their high-end builds. He moved from Dallas, Texas to Arizona, where he is enjoying his new job and hiking around the valley. Uh, as of right now, the 65 isn't really getting fuel up to the carburetor like we want it to. We assume it's a fuel pump. That fuel pump. sucker looks brand new. Brand new or not, this pump's just not moving fuel, so I'm going to have to take this sucker off and put on a new one. <laughs> it's kicking my ass right now. Uh, that's why I hate mechanicin, is that. Another monkey you might have seen painting some of the gas monkey builds was Mike Coy. Just like many of the cast, including Rawlings, he has lots of tattoos and is still working on cars in 2022. Like all the names we've listed so far, except Rawlings, of course, he is no longer an employee at Gas Monkey. He works at a different car restoration shop, which he shares on his social media from time to time. He also got a few more tattoos since the show left the air. Now, you might be thinking, are there any cast members left from the show that still work at Gas Monkey? The answer is yes, but there's only one. He's also the longest standing member besides Richard, of course. Can you guess who it is? It's David Phipps. You may not recognize the name because he didn't get hardly any screen time, but he was around the show for a long time and still works for Richard. He works on their current builds along with the current, much younger employees. An interesting fact is that Phipps actually rented his garage to a few former Gas Monkey employees who used it in all six seasons of Misfit Garage. I got 
word a couple weeks ago that some of my old employees had rented out a space from Phipps and opened up their own shop in the old Gas Monkey Digs. Finally, since we've talked about Sue Martin on this channel, where is she now? Fans of Fast and Loud remember her as the upholstery queen. She and Rawlings would haggle over prices, with $3,500 being such a common quote that it became an inside joke. Although she was not technically an employee, fans noticed when she wasn't on screen. There was an episode called Don't Mess With Sue, a testament to her attitude and presence, even if she was in staff. So now I owe you $900? No. Why? 17. He only want to pay $900? No way, Jose. First of all, we, we agreed $1,200. And then Aaron said he want to do the back seat, paint everything. So there was $500 extra there. Who else could insult Richard Rawlings and get away with it? But Sue had her own business before she was on Fast and Loud. That meant she was an independent contractor that Discovery and or Gas Monkey paid every time. Her business, ASM Auto Upholstery, started in 1990 shortly after she moved to the U.S. She's doing just fine today. We knew Sue was serious about money, but that's still impressive. There were many, many more cast members of Fast and Loud, so many that we can cover them all here. If you look up any of them, most have their own garages or are otherwise involved with hot rods. It's unlikely that anyone you recognize is suffering. Being on the show usually opened up new opportunities and encouraged customers to visit even after Fast and Loud had ended. Now that is benefiting from exposure. Even though Fast and Loud is done, most of its stars are still doing amazing things. You can follow their independent projects on their social media accounts. If you had a favorite cast member, there is probably a way you can support their independent business. Fast and Loud may be gone, but it lives on in the hearts of gearheads everywhere, especially in several independent auto garages. While we're reminiscing, the year's almost over. What was your favorite part of it? Or do you think it's too early to call? Did you buy any Gas Monkey merchandise for someone special this holiday season? And were there any Gas Monkeys that you wanted to know more about? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. We'll see you next time.